Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing three meals with you guys that are perfect for traveling days, especially if you are going to the airport. Personally, I feel like airports are a gigantic pain in the butt. Um, just in general, but for vegans especially, because one, it's really, really hard to find vegan food in certain airports. And two, usually if you can find vegan food, it's either really bland and you have to modify a lot of things. And it's also really expensive usually. So I prefer to take my own food to the airport. And I've noticed that whenever I post travel like vlogs or show you guys what I do take to the airport, you guys always seem to be interested in it. And I actually feel like taking food through security is a lot easier than what some people may think that it is. So that's why I'm creating this video. And also just for the record, I do live in the United States, so any of these foods should be good to go through any TSA in an American airport, but obviously I don't know the rules and regulations of other countries, and sometimes international rules are a little different as well, so definitely check with your airline or your country to see if these rules are appropriate or these food ideas are appropriate for you before you make them, because that's the worst thing ever when you go to the airport with food that you're planning on eating, and then they take it away. If you are looking for smaller snacks and not whole entire meals, I also did recently film a travel snacks video that is full of different travel snack ideas, whether you're going on a road trip or going through the airport, anything of that nature. So I will have it linked in the upper corner of the screen if you want to check that out. Now, generally speaking, you can pretty much take any food through TSA or airport security that you want as long as it's not a liquid and it's not like a gel like consistency but i will say that sometimes food is dense and the x-ray doesn't really know what it is reading when it looks at your food so sometimes it will get flagged just for someone to look at so because of this just as a rule of thumb whenever i bring food with me to the airport i always put it in a separate bin from my computer and my shoes and all of my other things so that way if it does get flagged Flagged, I can still gather all of my belongings and get those ready just while they're looking at the food and for the most part as long as your food is in a liquid or gel they're generally just going to look at your food ask you what it is and then you can tell them and they'll make some comment about wow you're eating healthy or wow this looks good and then they give it back to you and you go on your way I'd say for the most part it's maybe caused a maximum delay of five minutes and in the grand scheme of things that is totally worth it for me because I know I'm eating good food that is going to taste good and I'm also saving money too. Typically when I go to airports I usually try to fly earlier in the day so I will pack a breakfast with me. Honestly I think that the easiest breakfast in the world is making overnight oats. Now I will say I used to make my overnight oats and bring the already prepared oats with a liquid and everything through the airport for years. And then maybe about like three months ago, I was flying out of the Miami airport, which I have flown out of multiple times with overnight oatmeal. And for the first time ever, I got flagged and they said I couldn't take the oats through security because it was a gel. Oats are not a gel. I've also heard this with other people. So to be safe, I have a solution. Actually, I actually need to give a shout out to my friend Jasmine from Sweet Simple Vegan because she originally told me about this. But you can still make oatmeal at the airport without having to buy it at Starbucks just by bringing the dry oats with you in a mason jar or other reusable container. So this recipe is very forgiving, but I like to use instant oats just because they cook a little faster. And I will add however much of those I want into a mason jar. I also like to add a scoop of chia seeds and that's pretty much all you need to make oatmeal. You don't even really need the chia seeds, but I like it for the healthy fats. And then I also added in some cacao nibs for a little extra fun. But if you wanted to add in some sugar or some cinnamon or other spices or other superfoods into your oatmeal, you can totally do that too. And then I just seal the jar and shake that all up and you pretty much have oatmeal. However, what you can do is bring chopped fruit through security. So I like to add some fruit into my oats as well because I normally eat oats with fruit. So I just chopped up some bananas and strawberries and put them in as well. So then when you go through airport security, you're just going to bring that mason jar full of dried oats and fruit. And then once you get through the TSA security check, you can either go to a coffee shop like a Starbucks and they should be able to give you hot water for free 
or you can wait till you actually get on your plane depending how early in the morning your flight is and then when the flight attendant goes around to give you a complimentary beverage you can just ask her for a glass of hot water and once you have your hot water however you obtain it you can just pour it on over your oats and because the water is hot you're just going to seal the lid again let it sit for a few minutes and the oats will absorb the water and just become like regular oatmeal also, if you wanted to throw in like protein powder or something into there, you totally could. Like I said, it's a very forgiving recipe. You can use whatever other fill-ins you want. But oatmeal is a great breakfast. It's filling, it's cheap, it's easy to take on the go. And that's why I love it. If you want something a little bit different from oatmeal, you can switch it up. And I like to make sweet potato boats every once in a while. So I just roast some sweet potatoes in the oven at 400 degrees, generally for about an hour or so until they get really soft and mushy. Either way, you're just going to cut your sweet potatoes right down the middle and then separate them sort of like a boat. And then for a sweet variation, you can add in fresh fruit. Again, I use some strawberries and bananas and add what other toppings you'd like I decided to top mine with some peanut butter cup granola which is a recipe that I do have on my blog so I will link it below and a drizzle of peanut butter and then I wanted to give you guys a savory option as well so I decided to fill that sweet potato boat actually with a mixture of kale and chickpeas in a creamy dressing this recipe itself is actually on my blog um, the stuffed sweet potato boats with kale and chickpeas so I can link that below too but you can really do anything you can use black beans and salsa you could even add some avocado nutritional yeast on top the good thing about vegan food is because it doesn't have a dairy or rotting flesh in it you can take it through security and it is totally fine without refrigeration for a few hours your food will be totally fine and I think sweet potatoes are great to eat at room temperature and personally I don't mind eating these things when they're a little bit chilled honestly there are a ton of different foods that you could bring to the airport you could bring avocado toast just bring some bread and avocado mash it on the plane you can make a sandwich you can make a burrito you can bring just straight up rice and beans you can bring leftovers from the night before anything you are comfortable with eating cold pasta salad you can bring onto the airplane you can even make a regular salad but my last idea for you guys today is going to be sushi I think sushi is great because it is very portable it's easy to eat with your hands just make sure you wash your hands because airports are kind of gross it's really not that hard to make basically all you need for sushi is rice and whatever fillings your heart desires so to make sushi is a little bit more helpful if you have a bamboo mat you can get this at the grocery store for a couple of dollars you're just going to need some nori which are sheets of seaweed and when you place the nori onto the bamboo mat and you want the rough side to be facing up next crucial to all sushi you need some rice i decided to use black rice in this uh video but you can honestly use white rice brown rice red rice so you just want to cook the rice let it cool and then stir a little bit of rice vinegar in with it and this helps to make it a little bit more sticky so i'm using a rice cooker spoon here but you can use anything you want like a spatula and you're just going to scoop the rice onto the nori sheet and sort of press it into the sheet until you have a nice even layer of rice. Generally when I make sushi for myself, I cook about half of a cup of dry rice and that makes two rolls for me. So once you press the rice down onto the sushi, you want to remember to leave a tiny thin strip where there isn't any rice and this is going to help you seal the sushi later. So for my toppings, I decided to use some roasted sweet potato, cucumbers, and avocado, but you could use tofu, carrots, bell peppers, vegan cream cheese, anything and you're just going to place those I'd say about a third of the way into the sushi and place a thin layer but because we are in an airport and we're not going to be able to take some portable soy sauce or hot sauce or any other dipping sauces in with us I like to put those in with my sushi when I actually make it so here I'm just adding a layer of hot sauce and a sprinkle of sesame seeds however I think it would have also been good to sprinkle some tamari on there too just because sushi tastes better when it's salty and then to roll your sushi you're just going to take your bamboo mat and sort of do this rolling and peeling action as you can see here just make sure you press your roll firmly and then that is it you can repeat it with your second roll if you're making a second roll and then just use a sharp knife to chop your sushi into pieces personally I find that using a serrated knife actually works better for cutting it I find the smooth one tends to mush the sushi but then you can store it in a bento box or another portable container that's another sprinkle of sesame seeds if you like or you could drizzle some tamari over it now and you are good to go
Also, I just want to say if you're feeling lazy and you don't want to make your own sushi, you can totally just make a sushi bowl. Just cook some rice, chop up some veggies and some avocado and some tofu or whatever, put it in your bento box or your container, and then sprinkle some sesame seeds and tamari over that, and it's perfectly good to eat it cold as well. Those are all of my food ideas. I'm sure there are plenty of more, so if you guys want me to film another video like this, definitely let me know in the comments below. But before I end this video, I do want to say that it is really important to be mindful of your plastic and sometimes I get to the airport and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot a utensil to eat my food. So one, that's why sushi is great. But two, now I always bring my portable silverware kit with me. So I have this metal one that came with my bento boxes, but then there's also these bamboo things which are a little bit lighter and they usually come in nice kits that are very travel friendly. So you get a fork and a knife and a spoon and chopsticks so you don't have to use disposable plastic things because once plastic is created it lasts forever and if you can remember it's just really great to bring those reusable utensils with you so you're creating less waste all right guys that is it for my ideas though i hope you liked this video if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing and you like what you see here feel free to hit that little subscribe button right down there i post two new videos every single week and if you have any video requests i am more than happy to film them for you so leave a comment below we can hang out and be friends etc so thank you guys all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one and i hope you have a great day whatever time of day it is for you i will talk to you later bye